And one day for Uganda. And Rwanda and Burundi. Or and Burundi and Rwanda. Yeah. Alright. Maintenance company three, baby. Alright. What is the other support company we're using? I forget. Uh MechDeath. You're using a logistics company. Yeah, that's reasonable. And probably wouldn't hurt to uh, definitely get that up to four, even. And even a maintenance company up there. Because then the maintenance company helps out a lot. Yeah. Extra liability bonus was worth it. Is applied to equipment types and reliability reduced chance to break down in accidents. Yep. Basically meaning we just lose less tanks. Alright. So now that that's done, combat prep three. Holy crap, nine tanks. You're not kidding when you call them mech death. Yep. Major reactionary rally. Yep. And the other, of course, are just mechanized infantry for defensive purposes. That way we actually have some defense and some hit points. I mean, you could just make all tank and just go punch. As long as they're never attacked, it's fine. These things are hellish to produce and cost everything, but we do okay. We do okay. Alright, I still don't know what to do here, man. Could go to very low taxes. Or very high taxes. Next question is, do I value research or industrial capacity more? I think I might just leave it, at, you know, just high or low. Maybe. Maybe I don't need to go super extreme, you know? No, nah, it's better to go extreme, actually. On either side of the spectrum, it's better to go ex to the extreme. Eh, uh, well. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll just stay neutral then. Because I really don't know. Hmm. Hmm, that's fine. Alright. And absolutely no freaking sign of NATO. They're just letting me get away with this. That's a little bit ridiculous, but alright. Yeah, you know what? Just conquer whatevs. The Kenyans don't have anywhere near enough forces to stop us. Alright. Push out more mech death. Who even cares about Africa? Pretty much. Not apparently none of the major world powers, that's for sure. Hey, hey, hey. want to create a faction in Saudi Arabia? No? Alright. Neither they or we are at war. Minus 30. Implying NATO actually does something. This is true. I mean, that is in of itself a stretch, so. The Ethiopian Empire goes to war. Slovenia has joined NATO. Push to Nairobi. Alright, there we are. Romania joined NATO. The Kenyan state joined Sisno. And Armenia joined. Croatia joined NATO. I did bring this above 45%, which was supposed to be a good place for me to keep it under. Right? Kenyan state, Armenia, and Tajikistan. Alright. I've kicked off a new era of world tensions, and the factions can grow now. <laughs> On the other hand, some of them might just defect and join other factions. 
Wait, did Sisto just break? Sisto straight shattered, didn't it? Holy shit. Get back death tonight, Robbie. Put none of these guys. Oh, sorry, did you not capitulate? Hello? Apparently not, okay. Mechdeath, if you'd be so kind as to finish this war for me, that would be lovely. State is capitulated. Understood. So, this is a problem. Armenia and Tajikistan, of all people. Both landlocked and thus incredibly hard to get to. Alright, so. To actually get to them. Through Egypt. Through Saudi Arabia. Through Iraq. Through Iran. Alright. Oh yeah, and Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Minus 0.81 per day. Yuck. Not great, but I don't really have a choice. Alright. Fine. I guess you army alone go there. You guys head here. Apparently I just have a mech death laying out over here. Make sure you guys are deploying at the capital. Alright. Yeah. And unfortunately, due to the game being the most retarded thing ever on the planet, there's actually no such thing as white peace. Like, there, there is no peace. Yeah. So, Sisto collapsed, apparently, under threat from Ethiopia. Which is mildly entertaining. Uh, just mildly. Yeah. Yeah, National Spirit, vehicle production, so motorized. That And consumer goods factories, minus 1% is always good. Bulgaria joined NATO. Alright. How Saudi Arabia feel about things? Almost willing to create a faction with me. Cool. Right. Slowly we'll invade Uganda, home of the Ita the Pupu. As uh, the most famous thing in Uganda. <laughs> Which is actually really sad. But let's be honest here, have you heard of Uganda for any other reason than that? No, you haven't. Demilitarized zone. Oh, Kosovo. I also can't help but notice that Montenegro has been wiped off the map. <laughs> Gee, Serbia, you, uh, you've been up to something over there, have you? Oh. Alright. So, Uganda will be done soon. So. Yeah. We need to wipe out Sisto. Okay, we're getting there. It'll take for friggin' ever, but... Mm -hmm. Trade partners plus 23, yeah. 
logistics company. It's kind of weird, but alright. Research slot available. Logistics Company 4 is perfectly fine to research, even if I had a time. Like, things like supply reductions and that, that you get from these support brigades are just too good. Alright. Yeah, Nigeria is actually pretty rich. Well, at least aristocratically rich. Guaranteeing the independence of whatever the fuck this country is. Oh yeah, it's one of those random mass uh, transcaucasian states I don't even know about. I gave up trying to figure out what the hell was going on there a long time ago. So we've reached 100, which is not good enough. One forty. So then we can't get anything, can we? Create faction. So if we guarantee Saudi Arabia's independence, we can create faction, yeah? Without having the national spirit to do so, that's fair. Once military truck production's done, we'll get factionalism. But, yeah, that's apparently a problem. Man. Hmm. But, yeah, NATO is growing, and that concerns me a little bit. It concerns me a lot. Let's be honest here. But, under the guise of the Ethiopian Empire and a new faction, we can build something that can oppose NATO. Especially if we can, say, get China to join in. Recent actions once a month. Oh man. Alright. Okay. So, yeah. Turns out... We are never going to be able to get military access. Estonia joined NATO. Uh, I mean, I knew I'd fuck up and do this eventually, so. Okay. Lithuania joined NATO. I thought they were already members of NATO. Maybe not back in 2000. That's probably right, yeah. I'm totally members of NATO now, but I don't remember what the hell the state of NATO was 16 years ago, so. Uganda joined Sisto. Well, that's not surprising. Go to Kampala. Yeah, war merged. Japan joined Sisto. Japan joined Sisto. Okay. All right. On the, in the meantime, factionalism. I've mildly surprised Japan isn't part of NATO at the start. I guess they never did technically become part of NATO, did they? All right, MacDeath took Kampala. You may now surrender. Uganda capitulates. Damn straight it does. Alright. Okay. You guys man that front line. You guys man that front line. Should be easy. Yes. Feed me factories. Om nom nom nom. We are doing pretty good here. A lot of infrastructure build up and all that. Alright. Hmm. 
Good. Alright, Rwanda and Burundi are up next. Okay. We'll also soon have factionalism, so. Hmm. They're dangerously close to falling to Islam. The national spirit to do so. Rwanda. Good. Okay. Declare war. Declare war. All one war, I know. Because everybody will join Sis Sisto or some shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we are. Rundi capitulates. High levels of resistance in Kenya. Yeah, we do need to actually start, like, breaking down and occupy and, uh, taking care of that, but we'll get to it. Apparently we're losing here, which is mildly impressive. Mechdeath, I apparently need your assistance. Would you be so kind... Literally everything and everyone stand down. I just said everything and everyone stand down. Macdeath, you enter the ring. Once more, everything that isn't Macdeath. Go. Stand the fuck down. There we go. We've got a mech death brigade in there, finally. That'll put a swift end to them. That's what we were looking for. Bush. Kill, maim, destroy. Kill, maim, destroy. Alright. Done. I mean, we might just create an, a friggin' block aligned out here. So, we need to actually not invade anyone for, like, a little while now. <laughs> as strange of a concept as that is. The next person we're invading, if anybody, however, will be Egypt. Because Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Iran, and probably Afghanistan, I haven't really checked them, but I'm going to guess yes, are all willing to join a faction. I can make you willing to join a faction, though, so let's get on that. At least maybe. It doesn't look like it. No. Oh, well. We'll see. Like either way, we can get a bunch of people into the fa a bunch of people into the faction. So we might just have to conquer Egypt. That might be as far as we need to go, and then we can take out everyone else. Alright. 
But we that the problem here is that we need to be nice and calm until factionalism is done. Under no circumstances can we hit let world tensions hit 100%. Because then everybody will join NATO. Or Sisto. I'm not really sure which is worse. Everybody will join a faction, though. Because at 20, uh, then if they have any positive opinion of anybody, that's just enough to bring them into the faction. So, Literally anyone trading with the U.S. will instantly join NATO. Anyone trading with Japan will instantly join Sisto. Like, even Russia will probably join NATO at, the, at that point. Like, that that's the scary part. <laughs> and our nuclear program's still, like, two years out, so... <laughs> Should probably be a bit careful. Alright. Mech death, return home. All right. I mean, we have enough mech death to just take over this border. So, we do need to now deal with this whole idea of occupation. As I was saying. Yes, I know. Your forces are to move out and garrison. Alright. The remaining mech death squads will be out in no time. And factionalism will be done in 37 days. Alright. We've set the world ablaze. We haven't managed to quite cause the second world war yet. Or the third world war yet, though. Like, we've poured enough gas on the world to do it, that's for sure. <laughs> the U.S. is strategic wet dream. All the world united with them against some African country. <laughs> uh, the U.S. actually has a focus to merge NATO and S Sisto with... Oh, fuck. Really? In well, fuck. They're already going for invade... Well, they're going for invade Afghanistan. That's a, that's a concern. The Sisto Compromise. They took the path of Russia. Sisto and NATO can't unite. Thank fuck. The Sisto-NATO Alliance. Could not go. We managed to stop Sisto and NATO uniting. Good. Alright, we're fine. That said, apparently Afghanistan's about to get invaded. So, yeah. Digibooty's pretty worried right now. Yeah. They're protected by NATO, so... Like, I don't want to go to war with NATO yet. I got other fish to fry first. You know? As it turns out... But, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Iran, and the Ethiopian Empire all walk into a bar. This is, uh, this is the, uh, standard we're setting here. Alright. Now just hope AEDU, China's National Folks Faction, doesn't get created. <laughs> yeah, Russia dropped out of Sisto, like, which was pretty funny. Factionalism. Excellent. So, I'm pleased to say now, with factionalism, we can grade factions. Who'd have thought? Alright, so all our combat preps are done. Still working on that, I guess. Your faction name here. All right. So, Ethiopian, uh, Saudi Arabian, Iraqi, Iranian. <laughs> I 
which amazingly enough says Easy Alliance. <laughs> it's the Easy Alliance, guys. Uh. Oh, whoops, I fucked up, didn't I? Nah, whatever. It's fine. Apparently. Or, no, it's not. Fuck. Alright, I, I apparently managed to hose this up. Because I didn't know how this was going to end up going. Uh, turns out, A, they won't accept a joint infection. I'm just going to reload. Jesus Christ. Okay. There's an autosave. And I have no idea why this dog is here. <laughs> this mod is a little buggy at times. Whoops. Yeah, we're just, we're just going to save scum that. That wasn't necessarily, uh, you know, like a mechanics issue on the game. It's probably just me fucking up. So, that's fine. And it's not like anything changes as a result of it. Okay. So, uh, that means we definitely want Iran involved in it. Um, then we declare war on Afghanistan, right? Yeah, okay. Iran will have to deal with Tajikistan, Armenia, and Afghanistan. Which, I trust in them. Plus, I can relocate my mech death up there to Iran. So, Iran will be the partner we'll use here. It'll be the Ethiopian-Iranian alliance. And then they can do that to Brabi, Japan, recognizing the South China Sea's claims. Mm -hmm. Alright. Show faction map mode, yeah. So, NATO kind of grew. Uh, Sisto's more or less dissolved. Japan isn't involved in the war yet, which is pretty handy. Japan doesn't like getting called to arms or giving call to arms, so it's An not a problem. Disciple. Armenia and Tajikistan are both literally useless pieces of crap that we can beat. That Iran can probably beat. At least we hope Iran can beat them. Alright. Volteri... Whoa. Volter R Ray. Thank you for following. So, rather than the EC Alliance, we will say I don't know. Mm. Let's see. Let's see here. What should we say? Call it. Lorendor War might get Japan to get off its ass. Uh maybe. We'll see. Faction name is empty, yeah. Hmm. We're going to be stuck with this for the rest of the game, so... I think I'm actually going to call an end to this episode here. And, uh, we'll do it next time. Thank you everybody for watching. I've been your lovely host, Gilpin. Signing up.